Like at some point, they kind of snowballed after the dodo bird and nature and hawks. So did you but, just kind of stumble onto this as you were doing this black and red series that you were talking about? Well, I sort of stumbled. Yeah, sort of. I mean, I was looking for another Im uh, sort of something that was a powerful image, uh -huh. and I kind of reached in my pocket and found a nickel. Okay. And so, and uh, you know, had had a buffalo on it, and I was all, well, that's you know, because I tried doing like a huge oil painting of a buffalo years before, but I never finished it. Yeah. And so I sort of like, well, that will work. And so I sort of based it on the nickel. But then it kept on resonating with people, and I kept on getting people telling me that um, what it meant to them. And Interesting. And they, everybody had a different meaning. Like, you know, if a Native American, it meant something to them, or if they were from Colorado or Utah, or you know, they... So is the red significant? Uh, just as uh, passion. You know, that's the color of passion. Yeah. And, um, but you like cadmium red, the real red. That's what makes it. But, like, um, the thing that kept on coming back, this one guy saw me on in LA and said, you know, um, why you keep on, you know, what that means is means prosperity and abundance. And I was all, because the amount, the amount of meat, the amount of fur, and nothing was wasted. And I was like, well, that's why I keep on abundance and prosperity. I can kind of get behind you that. Can be behind that. Yeah, I can get behind that. <laughs> I like those words. <laughs> yeah, those are good words. And so it just, Becomes an ongoing theme, but I do all sorts of stuff though too. Hopefully, it's it's my gateway art. People open the door to this, they can see, you know, it'll maybe get them to see my other stuff as well. So, all okay, right, we have uh, so we abstract over here. Do you want to move this? We can move this. No, we can we can get around it. Here. These are the new little abstracts, little chunky. Uh, these little guys. Uh, it's a little the, wet uh, still. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the paint's really thick on there, so I imagine it takes them quite a while to dry. Yeah. Yeah, but they're they're slowly but surely drying. They. And this is the, sort of that red, that U.S. and the white with a black splatter around the side. That. This uh, here in oil. And this is a a little buffalo, a more realistic version. That is a commission piece for uh, my buddy, uh, Middles Art and Frame in Venice, California. Hmm. Hit those guys up if anyways in there. All there right. you go. Those are family. Say it again. Middles, Art and Frame, Lincoln. Not Lincoln. Is it Lincoln? Oh Lincoln my God. Bull yeah, Bull yeah Bull it is. Bull I Bull Art the, the LA is starting to drip off my memory. It's, it's like... very close to Radio Shack <laughs> yeah. somewhere in there. I, I yeah. used to work at a Radio Shack on Lincoln Boulevard. So yeah, Abigail over there. How are you guys doing? Get some. Your painting's coming soon. Absolutely. Beautiful. Chris and John, thank <laughs> you. And then you have these, these, are they a stamp? Yeah. Uh, that's a silk screen. It's uh, a silk screen. Yeah. They're sort of the ongoing silk screen. I mean, I, bar, I, what I like to do is find these, like, uh, go to, if you find a, a good kind of antique frame, yeah, yeah. If for, for cheap at like Goodwill or something like that, mm -hmm. you can refurbish it. And I put a new backing on it, and I, nope, nope. you know, did the silk screen to fit it. So you get this like antique -y quality kind of, you know, it wasn't IKEA, <laughs> right? You know, so yeah, those are fun to do. More, Especially if you find a like a really old frame with like the original gold on it. What you do is just add to that, kind of clean it up, seal it in with a varnish, go, you know, do dry brush gold over top of it. Yeah, you have yourself a cool looking antique frame. He's telling you secrets right now that you should not know. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I like I like the texture down here with this one. I mean, I like the texture on the abstract ones a lot. Yeah, there. Got the bridge up here. The bridge is a I, well, bridge is like an ongoing theme. Sort of, I like to paint bridges. Bridges too. are uh, bridges are good. Portland. You're in the right you're in the right place. In Oregon and Portland yeah. have a lot of bridges. Yeah, this is like a thrift. This is part of that thrift shop series as well. Where right. I find a painting, I paint over top of it, and kind of re revamp it, redux it, and. Uh, so what what parts of this were were original, and what did you add to it? Well, I painted over the top of the entire thing. Okay. But I added to it and took away stuff and darkened water, put it in water, and. Oh wow. It was like a volcano. You know, was the volcano been... original in there? No. Yeah. See, I figured it wasn't. But they, in the '60s, there were tons of these paintings of waves. Like they were just waves. There I was, didn't even see the volcano there in no, there until I mean, there was you get no boats scene. in them. There was we had one hanging in my house when I grew up. It was just waves. 
they're kind of nostalgic too. Like, I mean, there's always a, you know, it's kind of cheesy, but I like, I think it looked cool. I was like, damn, I'll hang that in my house. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, no, I now it looks cool, but man, the one that was hanging in my house when I was growing up, I hated that thing. There was no feeling or emotion in it at all. He's got another one over here. So you added, uh, did you add? No, I over the back. Actually, the only one I didn't really touch too much was this back one, and this, this kind of this kind of like see those light clouds. I don't know yeah, if you yeah, pick yeah. it up, but it's very light. But I just the rock was there, this was there, but there's a huge wave that was here coming out. I took pictures of the process, but um, but this wave, and I tried to make it work, and it looked you know it looked pretty cool, but it didn't look right. There's something wrong. So, but I ended up with just. I wanted people to be able to walk out to the water, put the sand yeah, in the yeah, foreground, yeah. not make it like a big wave where you can't. And the rock came out dope, so that was kind of fun because it. Yeah, you've added you've added uh, paint. Yeah. To, uh, to basically everything, paint, yeah. I just kind of vamped it up. I kind of re. Yeah. That's fun. And these little trails came out in the rocks, and this looks so, almost sort of realistic in a way. So. So can they uh, buy any of your artwork through your website? Yes, they can. Uh, that's uh, brettwoods.com, in case I didn't say it before. Uh, yeah, you can buy... Right. I got Buffalo shirts as well. I wanted to show them the shirts. Show them the shirts, because I got some new shirts coming like uh, in about a week that are going to be black and blue. Oh, neat. This is, and a, this is a nice girly one. This is a nice girly one. Uh, I don't know if you can see these. Buffalo then, shirts. Buffalo shirts. And I put the B on the back. If it doesn't have the B on the back... It's not real. <laughs> but, but I do have some black and blue ones coming out where they use discharge ink in it, where it bleaches like the black out of the shirt and puts the red back in. Huh. So it's little like in the shirt. Uh, those are find me. Have, find me. We'll I'm gonna have shirt. I'm gonna have to get one of those. For yeah, me. that sounds pretty neat. They're gonna be. It's pretty. I'm using a fabric called Gildan, which is a really super soft style. Okay. And so it's a uh, kind of a nice California style. You're not. I don't like those boxy shirts you know where it feels like cardboard right so that's gonna be they're gonna be ready by the time this airs they'll be ready this is Aaron. come get me uh, brightwoods.com this is airing within I mean, probably it's gonna be aired by the time we get back to Portland. okay perfect yeah i love it <laughs> um but did you guys see these ones up here too you want to get some of these down i'm really happy with these abstracts these are like the new oh what's it i know i see it These things are so much fun, and but this is like the if there's anything new, this would be the newest stuff, which is kind of going back almost into this chunky palette knife work stuff that I like yeah, to do. I don't know if you can see the paint work on it, but this looks very figured. And this is very nice. Yeah, it has well, there's kind of a combo with an abstract that you can see what something is, mm -hmm. so your eyes can identify it. But there's the hawks. So that's like a motif that I do a lot. These guys over here. I like those. Those are neat. And this one here? These are from the special ed kids. Oh, wow. So, so there's a fine line. These aren't mine, but they're from uh, special ed kids. Did you have anything to do with that? Or no. Is that just the it's just, just that I used to be in special ed. But uh, <laughs> so this, is a, like, be, this is what happens if the special ed kids keep on painting, then they can have... We're still together in the same gallery. You, know? you can, that's, that's, you can do this too. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say earlier when you were talking about, uh, you were talking about them doing the test, yeah. you know, to see what your aptitude was. Well, I was in detention when they took that test. Oh. So I never did find out what I was supposed to do. Well, I was held back in kindergarten and first grade. That was, I wish that I was my lot. I just kept on playing with the paints. I didn't want. <laughs> My birthday is on the 25th of August, so there was this big debate on whether, because I turned six in time to go to first grade, and my mom had this huge debate on whether I should actually start because I was six or if I should wait until, I wish I'd have waited, I really did, because I don't think I was emotionally ready to start school when they started me, you know? Well, you turned out fine. <laughs> the you most do part. not know me very well. <laughs> Future vlogs will show the deterioration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Over the, like it's all happy now. Over the years, you're going to figure out who I am. That's going to scare you.
Well, you see that, that guy. Oh, yeah, you're going to drink again. Yeah, yeah. Is this one mine? Yeah, oh, this one's yours. Oh, it's yours. Mine had just a little baby bit in it. We should probably wind this thing up. Um, but yeah, there is something to be said for, you know, special ed. <laughs> I do, I believe that. So, once again, brettwoods.com. Is there a specific place? This is going to be gone in a very short time because it's this just like a pop-up store. Lightning in a bottle. Lightning in a bottle. So, uh, all we can do is plug his website right now, brettwoods.com, and he'll keep you posted on where you can find him and what you can see. Um, thank you. Any last words? Wait, thanks Sheriff. for having me. Uh, what's your, uh, tell me your uh, vlog of your show, official it's title. The, it's the Let's Art Life Video the Blog. Art Life Video Blog. And if you're watching uh, this, you know that. Uh, my name is Jacob Wolf. You can find me on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, it's actually his channel if, yeah. you're, if you're looking for the uh, blog. Yep. And I'm Christopher Hoisington. I'm on Facebook, Tumblr, it's our pleasure. Twitter. We love you. Share us. Yes. Love us. Oh, when we get to 100 followers, uh, we're giving away some free art. And then yeah, yeah. Uh, we got to tell you about the party. Yeah, okay. check out Fourth okay. e Fourth Effing Friday. Uh, hopefully, Brett's gonna be coming to that. Uh, show off a little bit of art. And January twenty third. Yeah, January twenty third. Music, food, uh, art. Have we talked to you about that yet? Not yet, but so I'm learning more we're, every we're second. We're blindsiding you with this. Here's no, a, I'm in. I'm in. There's a There's a lot of stuff on uh, yeah. all the Facebooks. All we're of, sharing all it the all. Artists um, that we, well, I'll link my stuff to your stuff, and you can link and link and link. That's yeah. how we do it. All of, all of the artists that we interview on, on this, we're inviting to at least come show and give out business cards and meet people. Invite all of your friends and family, please, because the more the merrier. Is it, it going to be in Portland? Uh, yes, yeah, we're going to do it at our house the first time, and we're hoping we get to Southeast many Portland, and the next it's time we'll like 119th and Powell. Yay, Portland! All right. <laughs> we'll see you there. We, we love, love you. Yours. Thank you. Boop. <laughs>